Today we have class by His Divine Grace Shri Prabhupada on Nectar of Devotion. So when our senses are engaged for the actual proprietor of the senses, that is called devotional service. In our conditional state, our senses are engaged in serving these bodily demands. When the same senses are engaged in executing the order of Krishna, it is called bhakti. <laughs> Rishi Kena, Rishi Kesha, Sivanang, Bhakti Ruchat. Bhakti, it is very simple thing. Uh, our relationship with Krishna is natural. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Mamai Vangsa Jeeva we are part and parcel of Krishna. Therefore, our only duty is to serve Krishna. That is natural. There is no question about it. Part and parcel means helping the whole. As we have several times explained, that this finger is the part and parcel of my body. So it is the duty of the finger always set the body, whole body. Uh, it has no other occupation. As soon as I desire finger, you come to this place, immediately it comes. Finger, you come to this place, immediately it comes. So we can study. So what is the meaning of part and parcel? Uh, Part and parcel means to set the whole. Uh, Krishna is the absolute truth. We are relative truth. Therefore, it is our duty to set Krishna. That is our natural position. Uh, but at the present moment, we are engaging our senses, ourselves, in designation, I am thinking I am American, I am thinking I am Hindu, I am thinking I am Brahmin, or I am Sannyasi. So many designations. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu presented himself <coughs> how to become designationless. Sarvapadhi binin muktam. He said, I am not a Brahmin, I am not a Shudra, I am not a Kshatriya, I am not a Brahmachari. He denied. Ah. And at last he said, Gopi bhattu padakamalayu dasu dasanu This is our position. Ah. We are not Indian, we are not American. We are not Hindu, we are not Muslim. These are all designations. Therefore, Krishna consciousness movement is to make people free from designations. Just like actually you see, here are American, European boys and girls. Eh? They are forgotten that they are American or European or they come from Christian group or Jewish group. Similarly, we should also forget that I am Hindu, I am Muslim, I am Brahmin, I am Sudra, I am Chhatri. No. This is the only platform, Krishna consciousness, where we can unite on a spiritual platform. We cannot be united by resolutions, just like the United Nations. They are trying for the last thirty years to become united. A simply resolution. On that platform we cannot be united, on political platform or social platform. That is not possible. Because the designations are there. Uh, when 
we are free from designation sarvapadi binin muktam tatparati na nirmalam when you are purified uh, then we can unite in the service of the lord krishna that is real unity rishi kena rishi kesa sevanam that is vaikuntha platform just like in vaikuntha the vaikuntha sa narayan uh, or krishna he is the central point of service just like in vrindavan the vrindavan the animals the birds the bees the water the uh, trees the flowers the cowherds boy everyone center is krishna that is been now ah uh, they did not know that krishna is the supreme personality of godhead but they love krishna with their heart and soul that is been now so if we come to this point of krishna consciousness and simply learn how to love krishna then we can create the whole world as bindavan unfortunately even in the bindavan at the present moment uh, because our desires have been something else other than serving krishna there are so many factions the center is missing ah oh. So Krishna consciousness movement means to purify our senses from the designation and engage the senses in the service of the law. Rishi ke na Rishi ke sa sevanam bhakti ruch. That is described here. That is want. It is called bhakti. In our conditional state, our senses are engaged in serving these bodily demands. when the same senses are engaged in executing the order of krishna it is called bhakti this is bhakti just like arjun arjun served krishna by his talent he was a soldier he knew how to fight so by for his personal consideration you are thinking not to fight not to kill the other side because the other side happened to be his kinsman his grandfather his brother his nephew so he was thinking in terms of his own sense gratification because the other side if they are killed i will be unhappy that was his consideration therefore he was not willing to fight and to induce him to become krishna conscious the whole bhagavad gita was explained and at the end krishna asks arjun ah uh, what is your decision jate chasi tatha kur you can do whatever you like i have given you an instruction full instruction now whatever you like you can do this means every living entity has got a little independence ah uh, krishna or god does not interfere with that independence ah jathe chasi tatha kur ah at the last also krishna says sarva dharman parityajya mamekam saranam braj you do it krishna can instruct us that you do it if i don't do it that is my option that option is always there krishna does not oblige me otherwise what is the difference between me and the stone the stone has no independence but i am living entity i have got my independence so the krishna does not interfere with my independence voluntarily if we surrender to krishna 
voluntarily, if we serve Him, then our life is success. Voluntary. Hitya annatha rupam sarupi navasthi. We can become immediately liberated if we give up our designated post. If we simply come to the platform of Krishna consciousness, then immediately we become liberated. So many sages and saintly persons are trying to become liberated, mukta, to merge into the existence of impersonal Brahma. But because they have no information of Krishna or they do not like to surrender to Krishna, they fall down. Arujya kritchena parang padang tata patanti adha. So we must stick to Krishna consciousness without any designative ideas. Uh, we must stand on the uh, transcendental platform. Sagunan samotitta itan brahma bhuyaya kalpate. Transcendental platform means above the three modes of material nature. Which is called Brahma Bhuta. Uh, so, this position, Brahma Bhuta's position, without being in Brahma Bhuta position, liberated state, nobody can be engaged in devotional service. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma Nasochati Nakankati Samas Sarveshu Bhuteshu Mad Bhakti Lavati Param. Bhakti begins when is one is actually liberated from the influence of the modes of material nature. That is real bhakti. Uh, otherwise, when you are, we are in training, that is called prakita bhakti. Actually, we are in the material state, but we are being trained now. The deity you are saved. Uh, this is following the rules and regulations under the instruction of spiritual master or Vedic injunction, this is training period. Uh, but even in this training period, if one is sincere and serious, he is liberated. Uh, he is liberated. It is so nice. Krishna consciousness is so nice that even in the training period, uh, although he is not mature, uh, and even one false, immature state, there is no loss. Uh, that is also confirmed by Narad Muni. Taktva sadharmam charanam bhujam hari patit tato jati apakka. There is a verse like this. I don't exactly remember. That if one is engaged in Krishna consciousness and uh, without being mature, somehow or other, if he falls down, there is no loss. Whereas other persons who are sticking to their sadharma, but has no idea of Krishna consciousness, he does not gain anything. Uh, these are the statements of Nārāda. Therefore, our position should be, our real active life begins when we uh, begin to serve Krishna with our senses without being designated, without being situated in designation. Uh, this is transcendental state. Uh, therefore, uh, a bhakta, Vaishnava, Vaishnava should not be considered that he is coming from European group or this group or that group. No. Vaishnavi jati buddhi. Vaishnava should not be considered belonging to any jati. Vaishnavi atche siladhi gurusu naramati. Just like we worship deity, everyone knows that deity is made of stone. But do we worship the stone? 
Do we construct so big, big temples for worshipping a piece of stone? No. Unless one has got this conception that here is the Supreme Personality of God, a Sakshat Vrajandana, just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw Jagannath temple and immediately painted, he saw the Sakshat Vrajandana Hari Krishna immediately. So we have to learn how to see Vaishnava and Vishnu. That is Krishna consciousness movement. That means we have to purify our senses. Uh, then uh, we can see Krishna uh, always. Premanyana charita bhakti vilochanena santa sadaiva ridayesu vilokayanti jang shama sandaram achinta gunasa rupam Govindam Adi Purusam Tamahang Bajan. Uh, one has to uh, smear the eyes with the ointment of love. How to love Krishna? Then one can see Krishna always within his heart. And one who has learned this art, how to see Krishna within himself, within his heart, always. Uh, Krishna certifies he is the topmost yogi. Yogi nama pi sarvesa. Madhugata antaratmana sadhyavan bhajati jumang sami jiktatam. These are clear things. There is no hazy idea. Everything is clear. We have to become designationless, free from designation. We shall forget. Uh, not that here are some foreigners, pick up some quarrel with them and try to drive them away why they have come. So many uh, nonsense things are going on. For want of actual spiritual education, uh, this is not good, at least for Vrindavan. Uh, this is not good. Uh, people, uh, have not been educated properly with the Vrindavan spirit. Uh, therefore, things are happening like that. Sarvapadhi vinin muktam. How to engage the senses, uh, being freed from designation in the service of the Lord. That is Vrindavan life. That is Vrindavan atmosphere. If there is any other purpose than this, then it is very difficult to utilize the opportunity, the fortune of living in Vrindavan. One has to be designationless. Gone. As long as one identifies himself as belonging to a certain family, a certain society, or a certain person, he is said to be covered with designations. <laughs> when one is fully aware that he does not belong to any family, society, or country, but is eternally related to Krishna, he then realizes that his energy should be employed not in the interests of so-called family, society, or country, but in the interests of Krishna. This, this is purity of purpose and the platform of pure devotional service in Krishna consciousness. So, our purpose, the Krishna consciousness movement, is started with this summary idea. Uh, that nobody should think himself as belonging to certain family or sect or religion or country or nation. All these designations have created havoc in the world. It's false designation. Uh, when I think that this country is mine, it is a false designation. The country is not mine. I am a guest here. If I stay in a country, in a place, for, say, twenty years, fifty years, hundred years, does, does it mean that it belongs to me? Because they have no Krishna conscious idea, they are misled in thinking in that way. Uh, some group of men are thinking that this is our country, we are American, we are Indian, we are German. Uh, this is uh, the false illusion. Actually, everything belongs to Krishna. Krishna says, Bhoktam 
jag dabasam sarv lok maishram he is the prophet uh, but because people are not educated in krishna consciousness they are thinking i am the prophet ahang mameti janasso moho ayam this ahang mama increasing the ahang mama is illusion is maya uh, and that is going on therefore there is great need of spreading krishna consciousness in the human society those who are actually welfare workers they should come forward and join this movement to spread it actually it is being accepted very nicely uh, although ni- not nicely they have begun to accept it all over the world that is our experience and if we present the philosophy in correct view point people will accept it and people from all parts of the world will come to vrindavan uh, because they are hearing about vrindavan about krishna naturally they are uh, very much anxious to visit but if we do not receive them nicely if we remain sectarian uh, it will be an unfortunate thing uh that is my request those who are uh inhabitants of bindava they should be prepared to receive these foreigners who are being educated in krishna consciousness uh they should come here to visit so they should be received they should be welcome uh, that is my request yes next characteristics of pure devotional service in the shrimad bhagavatam third canto 29th chapter 10th verse shila kopila deva while instructing his mother has given the following characteristics of pure devotional service quote my dear mother those who are my pure devotees and who have no desire for material benefit or philosophical speculation have their minds so much engaged in my service that they are never interested in asking me for anything except to be engaged in that service they do not even beg to live in my abode with me yeah this is pure ah uh, devotional purpose uh, natural ah uh, here is a krishna devotee how much one should be glad to see a krishna devotee uh, naturally his love for a krishna devotee should enhance uh, that is pure devotion uh, just like in foreign country uh, when one indian meets another indian naturally he has got some tendency oh where from you are coming how long you are here this conversation go on uh, similarly uh, natural flow of krishna consciousness is that as soon as one sees a person in vaishnav symptom he should be eager to welcome him he should be very much anxious to talk with him about krishna krishna katha bodhantam ah uh, parasparam ah uh, dushanti cha ramanti cha krishna conscious people should be so nice that as soon as they meet together they talk about krishna they try to understand about krishna and they feel pleasure in that way uh, that is krishna consciousness society uh, we are trying to make a krishna consciousness society to give this opportunity to these people how one should be engladened by seeing one devotee and talk with them one another about krishna forgetting their designation that is krishna consciousness one there are five kinds of liberation namely to become one with the lord to live with the supreme lord on the same planet to have the same features as the lord to enjoy the same opulences as the lord and to live as a companion of the lord a devotee not to speak of rejecting material sense gratification does not even want any of the five kinds of liberation he is satisfied simply by discharging loving service to the lord that is the characteristic of pure devotion yes yeah. this is instructed by lord chaitanya mahaprabhu he 
रिजेक्ट्स न धनांग न जनांग न सुंदरिंग कवितांग व जगदीश काम दे कर्मी दे वॉट ऑल दीज थिंग्स न धनांग ग्रेट रिचेस एंड ब्यूटिफुल वाइफ ग्रेट फॉलोअर्स चैतन्य महापुरु इज रिजेक्टिंग दिस एंड ही इज रिजेक्टिंग ऑल्सो लिबरेशन दियमान ना गृंदी ए प्योर डिवोटी इज नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इवन इन लिबरेशन दैट इज प्योर डिवोट जस्ट लाइक भक्तिविनाथ ठाकुर ही सेज कीट जन्म हो जथा तुआ दास बहिन मुख ब्रह्म जन्मे ना मोर आश ए डिभोटी डज नट प्रे दैट गिव मी दिस गिव मी दैट गिव मी दैट नो हि प्रेज दैट व्हाट एवर यू लाइक इफ यू लाइक मी टू टेक बर्थ एज एन इनसेक्ट दैट्स ऑल लाइट बट माई ओनली रिक्वेस्ट इज दैट आई मे बिकम एन इनसेक्ट इन द हाउस ऑफ ए डिवोट so that i may get the chance of prosecuting my devotional service i may eat the eminence of food stuff uh, eaten by the devotee just like bharat maharaj he became a deer but he was associating with saintly persons he he understood that i was formerly king bharat by chance my mind being absorbed in the thinking of a deer i have become a deer all right doesn't matter so he was associating with devotees similarly a devotee is not interested uh, to become liberated go back to home back to godhead uh, of course even if he is not interested krishna takes him takta dehaṁ punar janma naiti māmeti that is natural but that is not our we don't pray to krishna for anything of sense gratification chaitanya mahaprabhu deva therefore said mama janmani janmani ishare bhavata bhakti rahitu ki toi ahitu apratihata our simply simple desire is how to be engaged in the service of the lord janmani jan when when chaitanya mahapurush speaks janmani janmani that means he rejects liberation also ah uh, na dhanang na janang na ah uh, kavitang va ja che this is the karmi is ganesh and even the liberation he he rejects liberation mama janmani if one is liberated then why is the question of janmani janm ah uh, so liberation is also not as bad By a devotee, these are the characteristics of pure devotion. This chapter is uh, characteristics of pure devotional service. Uh, pure devotional service should be uh, without any desire. Anna vilasita sunnam. Uh, <coughs> the others they are make, trying to make Krishna sunnam, sunnavadi. Uh, our Attempt should be to make our desires sunnam. Oh. Uh, simply, we be engaged in the service of the Lord. That is pure devotion. Hmm. One one paragraph more. Oh, what is time? In the above statement by Kapila Deva from the Shrimad Bhagavatam. The actual position of a pure devotee is described, and the primary characteristics of devotional service are also defined. Further characteristics of devotional service are described by Rupa Goswami with evidences from different scriptures. He states that there are six characteristics of pure devotional service, which are as follows: one, pure devotional service brings immediate relief from all kinds of material distress. Mm. Two, pure devotional service is the beginning of all auspiciousness. Sri Lopanand Saraswati has described 
विश्वंग पूर्णम सुखायत विधि महेंद्र आदि किटायत जत कारण कटाख बोई बोतांग गौरम ही वस्तु वेन एक्चुअली वन कम्स इन द प्लेटफॉर्म दैट डिवोशन एंड सर्विस फॉर हिम देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम द होल वर्ल्ड इज डिस्टर्ब एजिटेटेड विथ सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स बट फॉर ए डिवोट इज देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम विश्वंग पूर्णम सुखायत Ah, uh, and they are trying. The whole world is trying to become a very big man. Somebody is trying to be a very big merchant or big industrialist or minister or this or that, and others they are trying to occupy the post of Indra Chandra Devata. That is competition going on. Ah, uh, as soon as there is some competition, even ah uh, uh, persons demigods like. Indra Chandra, they become disturbed and they try to stop it. Uh, but a devotee has no such concern; he is not disturbed uh, because he is engaged in the service of the Lord. Uh, he feels so much happy that he has no disturbance. Bishang Purnam Sukhaat, neither he is anxious to occupy any very big post because. For a devotee, Vidhi Mahendra is just kitaayat. Ah, he knows well, what is this position. Ah, say for some years, ah, ten years, twenty years, fifty years, hundred years, million years, it is limited. As soon as the ah uh, limited span of life is finished, either in this world, either in this planet, or in other planets, ah, uh, suppose. I go to the heavenly planet. I occupy the post of Indra. So what is that? It is also limited. Ah, kine punne puno matlu kang bisanti. So long, uh, you have got assets, supplies, activities. You can occupy such post. Ah, uh, then again come down. Ah, uh, abrama bhavana loka an punaravarti na jana. So in this way. We are wandering uh, from up, down, uh, down, up in this way. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu therefore said, "Ei rupee Brahmana Brahmite kono Bhagwan ji Guru Krishna kripa pay bhakti lata bij." We are wandering life after life in different species of life, different forms of life in different planetary system, and that is going on. This is not progress. Where is progress? You are conditioned within this universe. Where is your progress? Uh, suppose you just like uh, uh, if I jump with a limited space, where is my progress? Real progress is Krishna consciousness. Takta de hang punarjan manai ti. If we actually want to make progress, then we must take to Krishna consciousness. So that after leaving this body, there is no more coming down to accept a material body. That is real problem. Otherwise, there is no progress. It is simply wandering with a limited space. That is not progress at all. But because we are in illusion, we are thinking it is progress. It is not progress. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.